This episode is totally going to be called the goo hole. <laughs> should, should, I mean, like maybe down the goo hole, or just I mean, nope, the goo hole. Just I don't. Just right. the goo hole. Just call it the goo hole. <laughs> Welcome, sentient beings from all known universes and beyond. It's time to activate your cranial downlinks and prepare to receive a raft of discussion on a cosmic ocean of science fiction and fantasy topics, interviews with local area genre devotees, and insightful prognostication by our soothsayers of science fiction, our forecasters of fantasy, and any other beings that happen to get caught in our gravity well. This is the Galactic Driftwood Podcast. Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Galactic Driftwood Podcast. I'm Bill. I'm Audie. Charles. John. And I'm Seth. And uh, Jenna's not with us this week. Audie's uh, kind enough to sit in and help us out. Jenna's um, got corralled by her work, so um, she sends her regards. And this week, we're going to be talking about some fun stuff. So... Um, no spoilers in this episode. Be, we're going to be talking about uh, Stranger Things. Maybe a little bit. Uh, oh, there I, I there think will we be can, spoilers. Yeah, we can. No, s- we yeah, can't well, talk spoilers about uh, Stranger Things because we don't know any. Yeah, we don't really. Well, okay, yeah, yeah but, but there'll be spoilers if you haven't. We're going to be talking about season two, though. Yeah. yeah. So, well, if you haven't seen season two yeah, a year later, that's what fuck I'm you. saying. Fuck you. Yeah. You're going to get spoilers. Well, you can't uh, say no spoilers when <laughs> there are no spoilers to give. It's Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> I can say if you haven't seen it by now, too bad you're gonna get spoiled. Yeah, and yes. I don't need to warn you a year later. Yeah, season three is coming out. If you haven't seen season two, I'm not gonna warn people uh. about spoilers for the for the series Lost at this point in my life. I'm just gonna talk about it. And if Maybe. you haven't seen it, chances are you're not gonna see it. Probably not. No, Probably right. not. I, I I have chosen that path in my life Except as well. We still right. can't talk about Game of Thrones because Jenna just. Well, she's it. not here. No, we can Well, talk. but she's not we here. We already I talked know, about I Game know, of We did Browns. talk about we, it. Well, no. Yeah, we did. Not really. Not not to the level. Oh, yeah, we did. Oh, yeah. No, 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 yeah, because we I went into my whole thing about it. how Cersei and the dragons, they should have just gone right to the Red Keep and destroyed that piece of shit and left the town alive. And well, Yeah, we went into depth. All right. Spoiler I'll send alert. you a link to the episode. Maybe. Just a little spoiler alert on I, Game I think of Thrones there about the... <laughs> We're yeah. we're well past spoilers on Game of Thrones. Yes, well past, well past, right. well past, and right, well, we're, we're, well, we're, well if past. If we're well season past two that, then we're things. way well past. Yes. season three, season two, of season two. Me. Yes, so uh, season two. So now, uh, for the people that maybe missed last week, um, Ocon's coming up for us um, in a week, and uh, we're going to be doing a panel on Stranger Things. So we thought we'd probably talk a little bit about that now. Yes. Um, um, by the time you guys see this, Ocon will be over, so our panel will be in the can, and we'll probably be showing that on a future podcast. Or actually, sorry, you will probably have already seen bits of it. But if you want to see the all exciting thing, you really got to come to the panel. Well, I think we're also recording the whole thing. We are we? recording it, but I thought I would just show bits of that panel along with bits of your panel in the Ocon, yeah. post Ocon podcast that we do. Speaking of which, uh, John and I will be talking about Orville and how it uh, is the new, the, the new Star Trek for our generation. Your, or, well, your generation. Uh, my generation. Or, or, or maybe the generation after you? Is it? Is I don't know. I think it's for e- everyone who's are you, kind are you of an older person. Like I grew up. Are you, are you current and contemporary? Are you? I it? grew. Are you what's happening now? Are I you all yeah. That with chips. Very. What very generation much? are you? I, I'm a millennial. Only a barely. Just on the cusp. Yeah, just on the cusp. But it's kind of it. It's how I identify. And so. John, what are you? Uh, I am the first generation of Generation X. Okay. And Charles? I have no idea. Mm. Mm. Audie? Well, you're a boomer. <laughs> I'm a boomer, yeah. You're a boomer. <laughs> I'm a boomer. He's a boomer. When? Yeah. What year were you born, Charles? 72. What year were you born, Charles? 81. 81. You almost called me Sean. I almost did. <laughs> I think you're a Generation X. <laughs> If, Pe- people in the... Yeah. People just listening can't born, see John? me glaring 65. at 65. Bill. 65. 
right? So, yeah. Right. Yeah, literally the first year of, of the of the Gen X was me. But nice. I think Charles would fit into Gen X too. Yeah, probably. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Well, okay. But, but, I, but I did just realize, though, I just realized, just listening to them, yeah. that the reasons the Star Trek's probably so appealing to these two, yeah. especially John here, yeah. is because it was supposed to be funny, and somewhere in the middle, they lost their sense of humor. What? <laughs> I don't. Th- I don't think you no. watch. The- are you saying? <laughs> I don't think you're John, watching the sh- same show that we are. Are you saying that John and Sean? Sean, did you say? Sean? Are you saying? That- I did purposely that time. Are you saying that John lair. and Seth have no sense of humor? Well, I'm just kind of. That's ex- that's what he's saying. He's trying. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to throw use, dirt. My, yeah, use he my is. tricorder to see what he's talking yeah. about. Yeah. So. No. So, so John's making reference to the fact that earlier uh, John and I were doing some repair work on a on a, one of his phasers, and yes, I uh, wish more than one. Yeah. Somebody, <laughs> somebody, one of the crew asked, "What are those two doing?" And and Charles said, "Oh, they're fixing a tricorder." <laughs> I mean, geez, can't tell the difference between a phaser and, and a he said, tricorder. Basically, Charles was like, "Well, and you're an engineer. Pretty much everything's a, a tricorder." Tricor. Yeah. Yeah. So, so John will be making periodic <laughs> references to hammers and calling them tricorders and fuzzy bears and calling them tricorders and whatever, I imagine, for well, the show. But by that logic, uh, sonic screwdrivers are tricorders. Yes. <laughs> so, right. Yeah. I mean, they kind of are, aren't they? they? Yeah, they are. It's like he, he'll and look at it and it's like, ah, this is what's wrong with you. Right, <laughs> right. Now... A tricorder, though, cannot unlock doors, uh, but a Sonic can. Oh, I bet they, they did in the next way. generation. They did? No, yeah. not with a tricorder. Oh, they would scan it and hit a frequency, and the yep, door would yep, open. Yep, yep. Yeah, you're gonna have to show me that episode. No, it's, <sighs> it's something. If I, I know, I know what he's talking about, and it sounds like something that they would do. Yeah, it's like just they like, were very tricorder heavy in the next generation. They yeah. did everything with tricorders. Well, I mean, it's basically their smartphone, right? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. which we do everything with. Yeah. Well, like, I know yeah. they could use it to emit a, a signal, like a tracking signal. Uh, our, um, our, hold our, on, we have an audience. Yeah, uh, let intern, me turn on the our audience. Our intern has mic. a question. As soon as he figures out how. <laughs> Hello? Yes. That's a, yeah, Not so close. You're on. Whoa. Whoa. Live. No, you should just fine. Just okay, fine. so remember the episode where Data was in front of a big door and he was using the tricorder and he was going like this and the door opened. So there yeah. is... That was actually is. an actuator in his arm actuator. that he used. Oh, oh I that's think that's right. What he, yes. That's right. He did yes. something in okay, his arm so and went like this. Yeah, right. right. See? I think now, a tricorder points, can emit a points. signal <laughs> for like tracking or if they want to be found, they can... But I don't think they can actually use it to unlock doors or... I believe they well, have. But well, I, I, like, I think we need Audie on our on How do you open your doors, too. Bill? Because yeah. he, he seems to know Audie's a lot a more Star about Trek, the next generation Star Trek than I do. You're kind of it's a techie. Don't you already use your, your cell phone to open your doors? Um, I do. Yeah. That's what I thought. My garage especially. <laughs> I but use it's, mine, turn but my it's technically not a tricorder. Yeah. I, well, I don't know. It it's more so sophisticated. A, original series. It's much more sophisticated <laughs> it's than just a, a brand new Yes, issue. exactly. But Bill, we sound a lot louder now that we've got that other microphone on. I think. Yes. That yeah, that's better. Because that mic is a lot more sensitive. Yeah. I, I don't notice, but it's like if you guys did. Yeah. No. See yeah. Oh, John. It sounded much louder. Yeah, you can hear an echo. Now, what I could do is. <laughs> I can turn her mic down a little bit. Now you don't hear it, but. That's don't, better. Don't yeah. do that. Now yeah. talk, Linda. Hello? Yeah, see, we can yep. still hear Linda Excellent. fine. Testing, That's testing. good. Okay. See, that mic's a lot more sensitive. I only need like uh, a quarter of the volume gain on that one that I need on these mics. Okay. Now we can maybe cut this part out <laughs> where we're like <laughs> right. yeah. doing um, technical stuff. Although there might be people planning to do their own podcast that are wondering what in types which of mics case, to they'll, get. They'll yeah. find a YouTube yeah. video yeah. much more entertaining <laughs> than watching. Yeah. <laughs> that, uh, it's, it's like, they it's, could also send us a message on YouTube. Yes. And we can tell them. And we can tell them <laughs> rather than have them watch Thumbs Up Your Ass podcast for, <laughs> for, for 10 minutes. All right. So Stranger Things. Uh, season three is coming up. And um, 
what are you guys expecting in season three? John, I know you said something earlier about your fear of season three well, and yeah. what it might be. I, I mean, the creatures from... The Upside Down. Yeah, uh, have been changing. They went from the Demogorgon to the Demi-Dog. And I'm, I'm, I feel that if they make it anthropomorphic, if they just make it... People. People. It's gonna, that's just going to irritate me. Yeah. Well, I don't think, like, what we saw in the last season, it looked like was more, we were seeing the actual life cycle of the Demogorgon. Right. Yeah, but it's, and like, I just don't, I, I feel that at some point they're going to just make it people. Well, well, I don't think so, because what it looks, like, we haven't seen anything like that, but what it looked like, fr you've seen the latest trailer, right? No. They dropped a, they just dropped a brand new trailer where, uh, the information they reveal is pretty much that the creature they expelled from Will. Will at the end didn't make it back to the other side of the gate. Before the gate closed. Yeah. In the cloud. Yeah, yeah. the cloud. The yeah. shadow monster, the yeah. mind flare. So that's stuck in our reality. And it looks like in this uh, season it's going to find a new host and begin basically converting it is like what uh, some of the, some of the things start to seem to be hinting at but i think that's that goes speaks right to john's point is that it's going to be this shadow monster that's going to be inside a human host and it's just going to be an, an yeah. anthropomorphized evil it's going to yeah, be a human be a being that's yeah, evil yeah. rather than uh, more of a um, uh, uh, Cthulhu type yeah. evil. See, uh, but that's uh, yeah. They've evil. been going more towards <laughs> the <laughs> HP Lovecraftian yeah. type creatures and setting. I don't really see it as just uh, no, being as like I'm a hoping, slasher kind I'm of thing. I'm hoping you're right. I am, but I'm afraid that they're, they're going to get uh, sloppy. Well, just, I feel that to anthropomorphize it would make it sloppy and not as good, so I'm hoping they don't do that. That's just one of my so things. I didn't see any indication of that in the trailer. Well, well and the other thing that... No one that saw the Spanish Inquisition coming either. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Well, the no one expected it. No one expected yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing that gives me pause <laughs> along John's lines were that in Season 2, we saw both Hopper and... Um, Dustin get a mouthful of spores mm -hmm. shot at them when they were down in the tunnels. We don't know yet what the spores do to people when they're inside them, but there's a potential that those two could somehow become hosts oh, for something. Spies again. Yeah, right. Or do they pop out of the chest? Oh, maybe. Different movies, sorry. Anything's well, possible? Well, the other thing is, 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 is the people form from the first, is that the final form? For these guys. See, that's what I was wondering. Or right. Do, do we don't they, know. Could they uh, evolve beyond that? What, yeah, what we don't know. People form. The, 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 the stand, the, the upright that Demogorgon. That we saw first in the demogorgon. first episode, or the first season. Yeah. That appeared, that was the final form we saw. The final we don't form we know saw. if it is the, fi the final form. Ooh. Yeah. <clears throat> I'd be excited to see what comes after that. Yeah. Excited yeah. or terrified? As long as it's not like. Well, as long as I don't have to deal with it. You know, here's what I would like to find out. I would like to know if the mind flayer that controls all the Demo creatures, the Demo dogs, the Demo gorgons, mm -hmm. whatever, is a soul creature or if there is a... They were talking about hive Multiple. Lines. Well, they, they said that the, the shadow monster is a hive mind and that all of the Demo dogs and Demo gorgons mm -hmm. are s enslaved to that... That shadow monster, that mind flare, but are there multiple mind flares? Well, I think that the 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 I'm not sure is the mind flare the one that was in Will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think the mind flare is still a less le like a greater bit of whatever's on the, in the upside down on the other side because w something was fighting back against. Uh, against Eleven when she was closing the gate. Yeah. Or, well, that was, started that was the Mind back. Flare. No, the Mind Flare was in Will. No, part the, of the Mind Flare, because he can, he's uh, like a shadow But we thing. saw, we and saw he it went, all go into Will, though. Yeah, well, but then we oh, saw it escape. It wasn't uh, all of remember it. Remember when it they was, turned up the heat on all the, th on the heaters and... 
That yeah, it escaped, point. but it wasn't on the other side of the gate. But Eleven was closing the oh, gate yeah, right yeah. then. So yeah. it, it, some, I think it's a piece. Either it did or it didn't. I, I think there's something bigger yet that's on the other side. I think it's a piece of the larger creature. Because when we, we remember when we saw it go into Will, mm-hmm. we saw the huge shadow monster coming with its, you know, tornado-like legs and limbs coming at him and this huge thing towering over the upside down of Hawkins. And then it shot one of those tornadoes and it went right into his mouth. So, but not but the whole creature went into I his mouth. I think the whole creature went in. I, yeah, I, we can watch that again, I think. I think that's... Um, you mean in Will? Yeah. I don't think well, it all went in. It I was think like, just part of it. Well, it was about five minutes worth of yeah. entrance. It just kept all just going right up his nose yeah. and mouth. And it's like, it was there. And it didn't, the exhale was not as long as the inhale. So, mm-hmm. you know, but I, I, we, I'm sure that, you know, <laughs> some, some cuts were not, you know. The editing, well, here's the thing. could be what it here's is. Here's the thing. When it went into Will... It was in the upside down, and it was cold, and so it was more now diffuse. That is, now that is weird, though. Actually, Will was in the upside down, but everyone was around him, and he looked like to be in a catatonic state. And it's like he was standing up. He, they saw him. He, yeah. he was not in right. the upside down. Right. So, but he was but, in the upside down. So I, that's and, and until I saw that scene, I thought every time that we were portrayed in the upside down. They were actually physically in the upside. Well, down. sometimes but they are not. physically in the upside down, but we also yeah. like here's the Will problem, was. Hmm? Here's the problem: is when they put him to sleep, Will to sleep. Now he couldn't see what was going on there, but the demi the whatever the mind the the everything else still existed. Yeah. In the upside down, they were still. But he he was there and not there at the same time, so. so Okay, so well, so it's not all in him. All it's right, we actually see kind of two different aspects of the upside down. We see the one where it's like a dark reflection of of Hawkins of the town the yes. world. Yes. But do they like? Are they ever physically in that one? Because the other well, bit of the upside down we see is the creepy swamp, where it's just like that black expanse of water oh that's and the void that's, the, that's void. the void. that's the void so the void the black void there. with the black water on the bottom or what looks mm-hmm. like black water that's the void between the two dimensions between our world and the yeah. upside down and, and that's where that. 11 goes yeah, to, tra- to transcend trace people. Yeah. Yeah. Be- yeah because we know that will both will and 11 have physically been to the upside down yes who hasn't been to the upside down most of the characters no, I think the only ones that have been to they've, the, all no. been t- they've all tunneled in and no, no they, they, those were little. tunnels underneath the town. Yeah, well, those weren't those were in physical the things down. in our reality. I thought every time you start seeing the little particles floating around, no, no, that, the that's down. no, that's the upside down kind of infecting our reality. I think. Yeah, but both Will and Eleven have physically been in the upside down. So because they so, both like Eleven had to escape through like that gate that she cut. There's been. Technically, six people in the Upside Down. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, what's the... Uh, well, Joyce Byers mm-hmm. and Hopper, because they went and rescued Will from the Upside Down. They went in through the the hole in Hawkins' lab, and they went in with those space suits on yeah. and rescued Will and brought him out. So they've been there. Nancy has been there, because remember, Nancy crawled in through a tree yeah, and that's in the what forest. Yeah. yeah, that's what he said. But... That's what I said. Yeah. It's like, but Nancy, his mom's been in there. Um, Hopper. At least uh, and 11. six army guys who got killed in the Upside Down. Well, so when they crawled into the roof. Betty, just, whatever. Or, or is that Betty? What, whatever, were they in the remember? Upside Down then? When no, they, I think they were, they were in the... I still think that because the roots well, led to the yeah, entrance. Yeah. So, I mean, no, like, they were still Bob's in our reality. Dead, but Bob was in the Upside Down oh. also. Yeah. yeah, because it was the Bob gate. Bob was never they, in the Upside Down. They never went down. through the actual gate. They went through gate. the gate. The, the, the army guys? Against. Yeah, they did. In the second season? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I swear. <laughs> I swear. They went in. No, they, well, they didn't go through the actual guns. gate. They yeah. entered they into whatever the entrance into the tunnels and then they that came the out. gate yeah, they had been causing. But so was Eleven when she escaped. When you're talking about Ele- her, her no. boring her way out, she was in, in she was under, she was in the tunnels, what, right what you call the lots. underneath. Uh, no. She was in the tunnels that were under the school. 
and then she came out in the school. So she was underneath there. I, no. I think, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, the, the physics think. of the upside down here is going to need to be explored yeah. more next week. I think so. we need to watch some key scenes together yeah. so that we're all on the same I just, page. I just watched the whole thing again. I know. I'm yeah, afraid so you were distracted watching. Um, were you surfing your phone watching? No. I think, surfing uh, the computer watching? Oh, well, I'm with same. John on this. I, I've, I've, the upside I, down. I think gotta, I've seen the scene where Eleven comes out of the upside the, down. The twice. vines are the upside down rooting itself. What the vines? Yeah, the yeah, vines. They're the yeah. roots of the upside down. So she technically, the upside down high school and enters the regular high school through but the very home. She's the physically in that upside down high school. That's right. not in the tunnels underneath the town. Right. That's the dark reflection part of the upside down. Correct. I'm with but, Seth. You know, I'm with John. I, 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 sorry. And Audie? Audie's not taking a stand because he, I don't think he's, I haven't he doesn't seen any see of it. it. You haven't seen it. I'm just sitting here in my own little vegetable garden. <laughs> 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 filled, with, filled with weird, squishy gourds. Filled with yep. many ass yep. gourds. Yes. Yep. <laughs> yep. Well, so there's going to be some fun things on. So a couple of things that I'm looking forward to. First, I, I want to see in the third season what the mother hangs on the walls this time. Right. Because for the life of me, I can't think of what's left. Yeah. So season one, she hung the Christmas, Christmas lights. lights. Season two was the map of the yeah, tunnel drawings. system underneath Hawkins. I mean, yeah. And, and you wonder, because it's wallpaper. Yeah. She's, I mean, it's just yeah. people that have wallpaper don't usually do that. <laughs> Is she going to uh, ever go uh, back to work either? Like, cause I, oh, yeah. At the farm. I don't she know. She just never, never went know. back second season. Know. Just Yeah. No, she was. She went well, back to work. I don't think she did. Yeah, at the she's. Don't, don't think she did. Yeah, at the very beginning of the season, she. No, that's, no, where, no. Uh, that's where. That's uh, where Sean Austin's. Uh, oh yes. Sean Austin's okay. character. Like, no, like, are you sure that wasn't his story? No, it was the farm. She. Right. Yeah, she was. Well, I don't think she was working at the farm. It looked more a like different a different job. Yeah, it looked like a different job, but she was manning the or she was at the counter of uh, a yes, store. Yes, yes, and, and he, wa- he was trying to get her to work for him. Yeah. At the radio shack. Yeah, so that he could basically grope and molest her. Because well, that's, that's hard because of the seasons. I, I mean, with her consent. Yeah, she, yeah, no, no. In the second <laughs> season, yeah, it was Sean more Halloween. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well. Ru- Rudy's first, not a rapist. So yeah, he, he was October. Bob Newby. Well, that's the There's store. A, they Bob have is his character. First season yes. was more Christmassy ah. in the store. So, what do you think, 4th of July? Oh, well, it's coming out on the 4th of July. So you think it's yeah, probably and you 4th. see fireworks. Yeah, in it's the a poster, summer. So like it's the Fourth of July. So it's a uh, basically each season is centered around a holiday. Well, the tagline for this uh, for this one is "One summer can change everything." Mm. So how's it going to change everything? I guess is the big question. Like what we've kind of returned to a uh, after every season, we've kind of returned to a status quo. Yeah, and that tagline kind of indicates that. This no return, return. Yeah, we're not going to return to the status quo after this. It's all uh, interesting. Huh. Well, the other thing to look forward to is Eleven's cousin or sister. So oh, yeah, eight. Oh, yeah, eight. and there's, yeah, there's eight. a whole bunch of other numbers that were Yeah, well, eight so. coming and just punk rocking out that whole town. Yeah. So that's a change. Now, you well, know, here's... Because they haven't quite gone punk yet. Where yeah, like right. A, all of a sudden, there's a mosh pit, and everyone. I just, just yeah. Well, that, well I, that's. I'm uh, trying to well, remember yeah. for sure. I, I thought I read something about there definitely is a new character that was at Hawkins Lab that's going to be in season three, and uh, it's a female character. And my thought was. Is it only females that were experimented on at Hawkins hmm. Lab? We don't have enough information. No, know yet, so. but we haven't seen any males that well, I we've recall. We've only seen two of the. Of we, the we have potentially nine more uh, subjects. So. Since 11 was still being worked on, I'm, I'm going to like make a little assumption that 11 was the last. But it's like that we still have another nine to, to check well, out. Well, and what we don't know is if the lab in Hawkins was is the, the only, only lab, DOD lab, that was doing that type of work. And we can't. We can't no. possibly know that. But uh, it's like, I think we've got more than enough potential in the nine that we know of to finish They did manage to season. refill that lab with scientists again, though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. Until they closed yeah. it. 
Yeah, yeah what, scientists, being a scientist usually doesn't have such a high, we'll call it a turnover rate. <laughs> now, you know, <clears throat> I, I hope we see more of, um, what was the conspiracy theory guy's name? Uh, 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 Murray Bauman. Murray Bauman. Yeah, he was yeah. funny. Yeah. yeah. He was good. I, I thought what would, would have been really awesome if it, is if they would have had three conspiracy theorists a la the lone gunman from the X Files. Uh, the lone gunman always chafed a little bit. It's like, <laughs> it, it, they were predictable and kind yeah, of silly and stupid, right. but it's like he was actually he's everything because I know those people. Yeah, <laughs> he, and he is like literally the stereotype I, of these conspiracy. Now I wonder I, if we're I, gonna get more of his backstory. I, I like want to hear. that. Yeah, I, yeah. Like yeah. To do. See, I I loved the the like the very final scene of them like pulling out of the laboratory and him just like sitting there, <laughs> yeah. uh, sitting back smiling. Yeah, right, <laughs> right, waving, and they flipped him off as they drove by. It's like he's dead. So they knew. Right. They, they knew who he was. Right. <laughs> and, right. They are one hundred percent going to kill him in the next season. I'm yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. What about yeah. that? That uh, um, dude who is like Max's stepbrother. Oh, Billy. Yeah. Billy. He's is, the. Is he going to be the one that the the down under and Bex? Oh, yes. Like, I think he yeah. is. That was what. That was what the. The trailer seemed to re- heavily indicate. There are some other thoughts on this, but. It yeah. really looked like he's the one that the like the shadow being is going to inhabit. Uh huh. The mind okay. player. Well, cool. But I like Max. Max was a good addition to the. Yeah, yeah, I think so I, too. I've but seen hints. A- every at... team needs a zoomer. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I, I've seen hints at the at the bromance between. Uh, Him and Dustin Steve. And Dustin and Steve. And Steve. Yeah. Yeah. So I and I kind of dug that. That was kind of cool. We'll yeah. see what. What happens in terms of, you know, kind of like the big brother relationship that seemed to be happening? Mm-hmm. I yeah. like that. I did. That, that was that was good. Well, and with them being older now, is Steve going to be going off to college or going somewhere? Steve leaving? doesn't seem like the college type. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, he might yeah. get a basketball scholarship. No, that was in the that was one of the conversations. He didn't know if he wanted to. Leave the girl for a year, right? Yeah, yeah. I remember right. That, yeah. that's yeah. right. Yeah. Well, was, now now he can. Th- yeah, yeah, they're done. <laughs> they're yeah, done. now he can do a little better on schoolwork. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. But yeah. well, he made a much better nanny than he did a boyfriend. Mm. This could be the summer before college. Yeah. So it's like it's, it's going to be summer. You know. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. That does kind of fit in the summer that changes everything. Yeah. I mean, what? Like, what do you even do at college after you've done this three times? Like. What se- what matters at college? Right. After fighting Demogorgons. Yeah, 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 after saving reality twice. There's going to be right. no way anyone's ever going to convince, convince those kids that D&D is not real. And it's like, because, I mean, and for them, it actually is. Yeah. It's like they've seen the monsters. They've right. rolled the dice. They have their own magic user. They have it all. <laughs> they do. They're ready. Hey, they potentially have a second magic user out there. They potentially have nine. Yes. Mm. <laughs> magic users. But uh, now. The now here's the question. Ooh, maybe the big monster you were talking about in the end, it's like the 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 eleven have to stand up against it for a final battle. Yeah, that'd be cool. Dun, 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 so it seems as if all of the powers of the kids are mental powers. So telekinesis, maybe uh, precognition, illusion, work, yeah. illusion, stuff like that. So I wonder what mental powers the other ones have, and is it possible for each of them to learn how to use the powers that the others have? Didn't well, seem like it. They say they're all right. There are illusionists in D and D. There are you know uh, mentalists in D. What what other powers from D and D can you think that they might? I don't think it's sourced. There's the from one power D&D. left that's your I, favorite. I, I'm seeing it's that? almost one for one Time source travel. for D and D. But yes, mm. hopefully not. Um. Eleven doesn't have a good analog in any D and D class, and not uh, while eight kind of does. Yeah, but we don't have enough of the sample spells. yet. But, but eleven there's chance, doesn't have. There's a chance that eleven's the most powerful of them all. It, See, we've seen her manifest yeah. at least two powers: the astral projection and uh, telekinesis. 
Well, astral projection and like kind of scrying it is that she can tell not yeah, only yeah, send an too. astral form out to someone else, but, but know where they are. Find them, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. She can do that too. Uh, we only saw the illusionist do illusions. Yeah. So maybe she's the final but step. But like it seems less like illusions and more like mental manipulation for her. Well, that's what illusions are. Well, well she's not like creating like she's creating, something that everyone can see. She's getting into she's their brain. Act, yeah, yeah, she's getting into someone's brain but and she making made, them she see made that. Multiple people see the thing. But so, she's getting yeah. into multiple people's brains. It's different. Yeah, she's that, not. Well, what do you think? An she's casting the illusion. She's not like making holograms that anyone who she's not connected to could see. So, so she's not. Are you sure? Yeah. Like, yeah. Why, why no, she, yeah. Because the because uh, at the very first she time she did it. that, the cop. She the only spiders. the cops in the lead, the cop in the lead vehicle that was driving saw the bridge collapse, but none of the others did yeah. because when he stopped and there was all the crash, they looked at him. And they're like, "What in the hell did you do that for?" Mm -hmm. None of the rest of them saw the bridge collapse. So, all right. Yeah. So basically, it's the difference between if someone were well, to aim a camera at it, they wouldn't see whatever she's projecting. Only people who she's connecting to with her mind can see what she wants them to see. Right. And so we don't know that she can do... A modern twist on an illusionist. Yeah. And we do know that she can do it to multiple people at once because mm -hmm. when nice. that SWAT team came to invade the warehouse that they were hiding in, she made it so that none of the SWAT team could see them even though they were in the same room. They walked right mm -hmm. by them. So she can definitely... She so definitely has the ability to cast a wide net as far as projecting that ability. So... Here's a question I have. Every time they use their powers, they get a nosebleed. Right. Is no. there a cumulative yeah, it's like, penalty yes, to that? We don't know. That's usually a lead up to like an aneurysm and a blow a brain blowout. So yeah. It's right. like they, right. it's like it's just like, you know, it just like every time it happens, it's like So like do they have a set number of times they can use their powers before they burn out? Is right. that why we only have eight and eleven left? Is because they burned through all their previous. Well, uh, we don't know where the rest are. So yeah, eight like, seemed to think you could keep going, because that was one of her lessons to eleven. When it hit, she had eleven, move the train. You could keep getting. You would, well, yeah. she might not know that there's a hard limit that they can push up. At, like so no many times, you know. can yeah. go yeah. before your brain just goes out your nose. Right. True. True, but I don't see them stopping. With you know. It's the only way they can survive. Oh yeah, no. You you uh, if your choice is use your brain powers or get eaten by the demogorgon, you use your brain powers. Right. Mm -hmm. But the or, or use them whenever you want. My thought which is, is what she did when she <clears throat> rolled in the supermarket and stole those egos. It's like yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's what you do with the so, brain power. As opposed to like, uh, well, there aren't really great analogs to the powers that they're exhibiting in D and D. There are pretty good analogs to the powers they exhibit in horror movies. Sure. And which, like, various uh, horror movie monsters or, or, like, villains have had the ability to move, the, use, use their well, well, telekinesis yeah. Eleven is carry. or illusions. Eleven is straight up carry. Which leads me to believe that, like, I think a power that we're going to see if we see another kid, is pyrokinesis. Yeah, that yes. makes sense. Because Le well, Eleven, it's also a very popular power. Eleven doesn't hate her mother, though. Eleven, yeah. Eleven. <laughs> Just, it's different. She does hate her what dad, does, though. Does hate her papa. You're making a carry reference there. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's like no one... Well, no, she was locked into a closet, so oh. there, there's a little bit there. Uh, there's just no. Maybe she's just not as mentally imbalanced as Carrie. Of course, she could so. be. She just doesn't speak. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. But I don't know. think Carrie was mentally imbalanced. She just. Uh, no, no. I meant. Well, yeah, she was. She completely. was horribly abused. Yeah, well, abused. Hung upside down. Yeah. The, well, that that sort abuse of abuse causes, causes, yeah, causes yeah. mental that's imbalance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm kind of in my in my <laughs> theory of where the show might ultimately go if it lasts that many seasons would be that we gradually see more and more of the other people that were at Hawkins lab with oh, their yeah. abilities and that it all leads up to a confrontation with whether it's the mind flare or some other Lovecraftian super 
um, Cthulhu. alien yeah. evil that all of these other individuals end up converging back on Hawkins and teaming up with their That's various what abilities. I said just like f- 10 minutes ago. You did? You... A little bit. Yes. A little bit. Sean, I said, I'd like says. to see all of the numbers come together you and fight the monster in the end. That's time. exactly oh. what I said. Oh. I didn't hear oh, I don't want to see that. You don't? Why? Because he doesn't like superpowers. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. like the end game. I just, uh. yeah. <sighs> I don't, don't what, you, oh, you don't is want to. Tr- is want that a t- segue into the, let's talk about the end game? Now? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> well, it's it's just like, I'll oh, take it. Yes. I've already well, seen well, that wait, movie. Wait, wait, wait. Do you not want this to end then? Is that what you're saying? Or. Because you're right, oh. that would be kind of the, that'd be the coup de yacht. It's like it would just, that's it. Well, there's going to be an end of the series, and At some it's going to yeah. be no, epic. No, I just want it to be kind of a dark ending and be fine. He dark. just wants everyone to die. And <laughs> you want everyone to die? He wants the upside down to win you know, you and everything to be quiet for a change. Eleven and the gang to get in a car and drive across <laughs> one of your bridges? <laughs> you guys can't see the little <laughs> smile he got when I said for it just to be quiet for a change, and he, Charles just had this little smile on his face, just kind of like, oh, that would be so nice. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm okay. I'm okay with eleven. Oh, maybe eleven and her sister. Yeah, destroying the scientist lab for good or whatnot, or sealing it in. A... Although I think there's a good chance that her sister becomes the bad guy. Oh, I know. There's a good potential for She's that. There. A bad guy, isn't she? I mean, well, a she, little bit morally ambiguous. She, yes. Uh, she's from uh, She's a rogue view. character. So yeah. she's not evil in as hey, much as she's. Neutral? Yeah, she's, she's looking for revenge. Yeah, she's punishing the people who hurt her, and they are ostensibly bad people who've done bad things. Well, let me ask you this: if you were in that same situation, and you had been, you know, spent your childhood being manipulated and fed drugs and all this stuff, but at the end, you ended up having superpowers. Would you be hold vengeful. it against those guys? Yeah, would you be vengeful? Or would oh, you just say, yeah. you know what, mm-hmm. this was f- fucking horrible, but I did get superpowers out of it. No, because you don't. You you didn't grow up in a situation where you knew how awesome superpowers were. Well, yeah, but now you know. I mean, look at, well, she's leading this, uh, eight is leading this group of Horribly misfits. traumatized well, yeah. children. Right, right, but she is leading, right? And... Uh, so, I mean, she's got to see that, and she's got powers that they don't. I mean, without her, they would be nothing. She, and she basically tells them what we're doing, when they're doing it, why no, they're doing no, it. No, she doesn't. Yeah, she doesn't. That's not exactly how that... No. She doesn't say much of anything. If anyone, Hopper's the leader. Yeah. No, yeah. no. No, I'm oh. talking about eight. Eight. No. Oh, eight. Oh, oh eight. Oh. No. oh, yeah, no, she's... Yeah, the no, rest I'm of saying them are eight. punks. Right. Yeah, I'm saying she yeah. runs that group, so she knows she's got power. She's got superpowers that other people don't have. She can pretty much do what she wants. And yet she's still obsessed with revenge. Right. And well, I just don't know that that I would think, be no, the case. Well, I think you would say, you know what, they gave me these superpowers. Am I going to be just throw well, it all away had... and focused on killing these people that gave me superpowers or am I going to take they the still superpowers have to work at it. and use them to benefit my life it's sort of like being like an olympics gymnast or something i mean she's young yet she right. can have multiple goals yeah, kill but, all but, the people but, who hurt her I think there's then always make mixed 15 feelings. billion dollars yeah yeah What's there's, that? there's always mixed feelings it's like being an olympics yeah, gymnast yeah, yeah. and your coach is had this that... you know your parents put you into that but right no, oh, now you have a I, couple bucks in your back pocket. I felt you were going to tell a molestation story there for a second. <laughs> You're an Olympic gymnast and your coach. Well, that's, what? What? That's the what? point. There's bad things, ha- <laughs> bad things bad happen. Bad things happen. Gymnast. And, yes. and you can Fantastic. still end up with money in the pocket. And right. Some, right. And you can right. climb trees or whatever is important, yeah. I guess, there. Uh, you know, I just don't see her with the abilities like that becoming uh, a small Small time crook. Oh, she eventually a, she'll be a big time yeah, crook. She is a small time crook right now. 
but why not just go right to the top? You've got these abilities. Everyone, you gotta, you gotta walk before you run, yeah. man. And it's like, do you think she that, was walking at the lab? Do you think the clowns that she's rolling around with now is the master gang? She's gonna need no. to, to get to the top. No, I don't. I don't yeah. know why she's with them. I don't she either. could go to any gang, any powerful gang, no. and get right in. All they she has have... to do is give them. Maybe they took care of her when she was like just Mind out, stuff. and it's like she feels she owes them well, or something. I'd she also has a couple mm-hmm. notable weaknesses that we've talked about in that, like, uh, her illusions don't work. On, uh, like, anytime she uses her illusions, she's going to have a nosebleed. That's sure. going to be a key giveaway to anyone not, like, uh, there, there. She, she could cotton be very powerful. Plugs. Cotton plugs. You stick cotton up in there before well, you do yeah, something. Yeah, but the only people who know. Why don't what they that do means. that already? Yeah. But it's like most people wouldn't understand what that meant. So it's like. True. I, <laughs> I think that would be fun. You know how <laughs> restrooms will have. Your nose is bleeding. Some don't worry about it. Give will me your have money. Condom machines, and some will have you know uh, where you can buy Tampax or whatever out of the machine or whatever. In Hawkins, I envisioned a different machine with <laughs> cotton nose plugs. <laughs> Maybe after this fourth. But I mean, pretty much, yeah, yeah. when everyone's got superpowers there. So. Yeah. No. Now, Could be they all get superpowers. Do you think that we will see Eleven's mother again? I don't, uh, really I don't see her having... Because it seemed uh, like she had superpowers. She could blink yeah, the lights. And my question is, she wasn't when she really was all there. blinking the lights... Is she really there, or is she mentally in the upside down trap? No, I think she had her brain fried by the electroshock mm-hmm. therapy that they made her undergo, and she's just reliving mm-hmm. those three moments yeah. forever. Yeah. forever. But she was communicating with Eleven. Uh, she well, was remembering no. three things. She, but yeah, Eleven got to see it on a different level, but it was the same three things that she kept talking about. So. That's there another was, power that Eleven has. She just like went into somebody else's mind and saw their memories. Kind of like a little sidebar to the scrying power, I thought. Yeah. But yeah, it, no, she could. She she could actually put herself in someone else's head. So. Mm-hmm. But you no, know, I think her mom is. I don't think her mom's going to play a huge role going forward, just because I think she's kind of effectively dead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For all intents and purposes. Mm-hmm. I, I we can't say for sure. Yeah. But it's like I think they've got plenty of stuff to have a very uh, spicy plot. There's no need to make too much stuff. Right. Yeah. You know. Now, what do you think happened to the demo dog that uh, Dustin and uh, in Steve fridge. put in the fridge? I in thought Joyce it was dead. Byers. Yeah, it was dead. All right, well, it's in the fridge now. Now. But it kind of likes. That cold. said, it likes cold. The dem yeah. the demogorgon likes cold. Could the fridge because. It was, you know, perfectly content there. Well, Could it regen? Pretty sure that's uh, something that they, they deal with before summer. It, like maybe the next day because you yeah. Know, but what do you fridge. do with it? Do you take it and bury it, or do you take it and give it to like your science teacher, or do you take it to uh, the conspiracy guy? I don't. I don't really science know what you do with a case. with an yeah. alien monster dog. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. dead because they closed the gate. The question that's, is, if the gate reopens, could it reawaken? That's a good name for the episode. What do you do with an alien monster dog? Huh. I, I like that. <laughs> but uh, uh, demo dog disposal. No, I. You I'd don't almost... think you would take it and and try to get like a I Nobel Peace Prize in biology from discovering a. You mean the science new... teacher? I would. Uh, yeah. Uh, Maybe. I would keep it and tell the shadowy government organization that you've got it, and if anything happens to me or my friends, it goes directly to NBC News Tonight, along with your story. Hmm. Fake news. <laughs> fake news. Just fake news. <laughs> It's going to happen. It's like that, that's your physical proof, your, your leverage against getting killed out of hand by shadowy government agencies. Mm-hmm. I don't know what they're going to do with it. It's like, I, the, I, judging by what I've seen of the science teacher character, he'd love to have it. Yeah. He'd, he'd have a field day with he it. He would. I love his character. Yeah, yeah. I do too. I want to see more of him. 
I kind of almost felt that in season two they they were gonna kill him, mm-hmm. and then they didn't, and I was very happy about that. So it's like he came close a couple times. Yeah. He doesn't know it, but no, he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. So, but now we'll see what happens. I'm I'm excited. I am. Now, uh, if you lived in Hawkins, which character would you want to be? Eleven. Well, I'm well, saying I want to have the power to. Actually if you're not do a something. primate, you're an adult. If you're not, which one of the adults in Hawkins do you want to be? 11, not Bob, that's for sure. You are lower on the food chain. Yes, and it's like, yeah, you you have no control. But of your would own you destiny. would so you like, see well, yourself as the science teacher, or the sheriff? Would you just be well, the show? Isn't a it, teacher? The show's more about the young people. Oh, than I know it is. It is. But adults. Adults I know it is. Quite but I'm just scenes. saying, you know, yeah, the adults are cannon fodder, basically. If for, you were in that town. Would you want to be more intimately involved in this action, or would you want to be as far away from it as possible? As if I could possible. possibly not know anything about it, that'd probably be great. Well, most but people in the town don't know anything yeah. about it. Yeah. So if I had to know, I'd rather be actually a protagonist yeah. in solving it, because there's no point in just being Aware. an NPC <laughs> in this particular universe. Yeah. yeah. Right. Non-player character. Yeah. Yeah. Now... If you were the sheriff, would you have gone down, dug the hole, and gone down into that subterranean See, that tunnel? Seems he stupid. fell, though. No, no, he dug a he hole dug so he could get down in there. But didn't to he get in fall there? down? He after, just, after, 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 he got, after he got the hole, he kind of put his foot in and, and got yeah. sucked And then down, fell down. And then got trapped. That was stupid. Yeah. He shouldn't have done that. Why right. did he do that? I don't get it. And he didn't tell anyone where he was. No, and I know. It's like, it's like, that was just like... You know, well, it, it, you'd have thought he'd, yeah. he'd have had a rope for pulling people out, you yeah. know, the chain or something right. that he would have. Because right. that's tie he, a rope around yourself. Well, they bring it down with you mm. so that when the yeah. opening closes, you know, you still know where it is. Right, right. Uh, I don't that. But, you know, it's like let someone know. Hey, yeah. I think I, ha- I have an idea about well, getting all, into the the the. Yeah, down don't under, go there like, alone. Yeah. Leave a guy up top that has access to a radio that can actually get out so or, you can call for help. But he does have the problem in that he's been trying to keep this stuff secret. So getting his other sheriff buddies, but then he tell, generally keeps them out of tell it. What's, tell, tell the kid's Scientists. mom or, or, yeah. or, or, yeah. or anybody. But, that but the, other, knows. The, the other deputies there are basically clueless. buffoons, clueless buffoons. He can tell them, shut the hell up. Maybe. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know. But it may sh- it may shake their confidence in their fearless leader to think that he's digging holes in the middle of the woods looking for a way into another dimension. <laughs> <laughs> just well, maybe. he doesn't tell them. He just says, "I'm looking for a body." Yeah, well, I don't dig here. They're, they're gonna ask. I don't you know, think that works. Can we go out? With, you know, whose body? They're not gonna the keep first secrets. Question, yeah. They're buffoons, like you Who, said. Yeah. Whose body? There's a body, and then they dig their way right into the tunnels, and they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He immediately goes down and gets trapped. Yeah, underneath by the vines, and it's like well, that was and just gets stupid. That shot was... in the face with a spore plant. What did he expect to happen? What was the, the outcome that he thought right. was going to happen? From right. I don't know. Occasionally, you come across a creepy system of caves, and you're just like, I gotta stick my head in there and see what's going on. <laughs> huh. uh, I mean, who hasn't been there? It's like, uh, like it's quiet gonna, time. Going to run into Lemmy Winks down there, and it's like you have found the key to well, all things. Well, and the other thing that I thought was <laughs> un. You uh, need to watch South Park. Oh, required yeah, a yeah. bit of suspension of disbelief. So when Nancy and uh, what's the guy that she's hanging around with? Not Steve, but Jonathan. Jonathan, yeah. yeah. When they're out in the forest and they come across the dead deer. And then all of a sudden, the dead deer just gets sucked, sucked away in the blink of an eye. <laughs> and then they're looking to see <laughs> where it went. Someone appreciated that noise. Yes, we like the, like the sound <laughs> effects. And then Nancy sees we this. We spare no expense on sound effects. I'll here be here all day. Nancy sees this goo hole and she her head in the middle of a <laughs> tree. <laughs> in the middle of a tree. <laughs> no, that is that is the episode name. <laughs> goo hole. <laughs> just, uh, do, we, do we need some context with Google? Nope, just, just nope, Google. Just Google. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, 
tells her is like she sees this goo hole in this tree and she crawls in. Who would do that? <laughs> that is a, that's an excellent point. And when she didn't even <laughs> she didn't even tell Jonathan that she was no, doing it. And he's like, she's looking there with for another her guy and, and she crawls in by herself. And then she starts screaming, Help me. It's like, where are you? I don't even know, <laughs> I know. where you are. It's, like, it's kind of like from uh Galaxy Quest. Have you guys yeah. watched the <laughs> yeah. show? I know. Is exactly. there air? You don't know. Exactly. And that's another thing. Is there air? Yeah. Where, where is that <laughs> you don't that know. Ghoul. You don't know. Oh my know. god. <laughs> yeah, there's no freaking way I would have crawled into that Seems ghoul hole right. in the middle of a tree. No. No, it's like I yeah, there's I right? just saw a deer sucked into yes. it. Yes. Yeah. A, a whole a, deer. A bloody deer. Yes. A messed up bloody deer that just got by, you know, by something big enough to have done that yeah. that's probably in that. Yeah. yeah. In that, yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. The, well, yeah. granted, she is a little unbalanced in this season looking for her friend. So True. maybe she's like, ah, I, that could be what took my friend. I must find my friend. These I are will. These are teenagers we're talking about. When they are trying to imitate, in, in some ways, 80s movies, right? Yeah. I mean, that's, and yeah. 80s ho- and horror. Yeah. Right. Don't put your head in there. Hey, don't worry. I'm a main character. <laughs> they, they can't do anything to me. It's called plot armor. Yeah, it's I've the, seen the best script. thing you can I've get. I've seen the now, script. I'm in it for quite some time, so I'm going to be fine. The, the goo hole brings up another <laughs> point of mine. <laughs> <laughs> and that is... I don't know, goo hole seems to just... You, you are tickled by the goo hole. I am. It's a fantastic phrase. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here's my other point. I don't know. We saw Eleven close the gateway with the monster. Mm-hmm. But there were obviously other entrances into the upside down. The goo hole, for one, or in wall. the tree. Yeah. There was also um, what was uh, the goo an hole entry that, in the, the school the, the for a while. Sh- yeah, the one that she escaped from. Right. The, the one that he dug yeah. into the ground to, to get Well, Well, that the, was the tunnel. That wasn't the yeah. upside so down. I, the think it, I think it was. No. It, no. It, no. Look, it's that's, a, it, our, that's our universe. I think you need to watch it again. Because no, I've because seen it a because times it, now. It, it, his, his foot was sinking into some goo. That it, it, it being a, goo does not just mean like that, the tunnel actually, network. That is exactly what the tunnels were. Every yeah. when when eleven broke out of the uh, the down under into the regular high school, it was through a goo tunnel. The tunnels, ex- no, no, the tunnels, the tunnel system underneath are Hawkins. The, are you the goo physi- master? Are you trying to tell me that you know all the goo? No, but I'm the telling you that you misunderstood this because yeah, the tunnels well, physically existed so. underneath Hawkins. Yes. yes, they were physical things that you could like. Puncture into, come into and out of, and they were they were phys- they were like an they, infection. Every time they went into it, they had to go through a goo tunnel. They had to, they had to go through a goo entrance every time. No, no. It was like, it, they yes. just dropped not, through a hole in the they ground. They were clearly that different. Was not things. a goo hole. I would watch it again if I were you. I will. I, All right. Like I've seen it a couple times now. I, I yeah. Watch it again. I, I it's maybe not, no no. I think I, I think I'm maybe. right here. I, I'm. I think we'll pull the audience. Uh, right, what the, Is it a goo <laughs> tunnel or a goo hole? Well, I mean, you can be both. Are the tunnels under Hawkins part of the Upside Down, or are they physical tunnels in our it, world that the uh, Mind Flayer is using to come into our world? Yeah, well, it's you, an infection into our world. It's like what yeah. it's doing to Will, mm-hmm. but through, but with the the, the ground. It's right, like it's the infection that it's spreading, I, I so that it can inhabit our world. That it was a plot device to see the little floaties in the air. That this signified you were in the down under. It's like, and it's it you guys keep talking. To, I'm going to look up and see. It allowed the audience to transition from, oh, we're here now. It's like, <laughs> no, it like there's two different things. There's the down under, and then there's the tunnels underneath the city. Bill's googling, so. Well, you know, they were also, um, they were, it, the, the vines were avoiding the lakes, right? I, I don't remember that, but maybe. That's the map. That's how Bob solved the map. Okay. Right? The waterways. Oh, okay. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So and it, what we could see is that the lakes okay. are, what we could see is that the lakes have been, well, at this point, they're full of tadpoles. Ooh. Well... Every all the demo dogs died when they closed the, the gate. The so demo dogs. I don't know. Just yeah. Just, just, 
possible. I'm not shooting your idea down. I'm just saying. I I wonder if they decompose or if an, one of them comes back, they can reanimate it. Mm. Well, see, there there is the question: is if the gate reopens, will any existing uh, things? And how are they just feeding to the dead dog in the refrigerator? <laughs> and have there been any theories on how they see things? Because that bothers me. Ah. Okay, uh, so here's from the. Um, Stranger Things wiki site and what they say about it. Uh, the Hawkins Tunnel System was a system that originated from the Upside Down. And as the name suggests, it took the form of a series of tunnels that sprawled beneath the outskirts of Hawkins in our universe. So it was created by the Upside Down. Yeah. But it but it wasn't part of the. Uh, it but was. It's in it our was universe. not. Yeah, it's in our well, universe. No, no, uh, but yeah, it's no, the creature. I, I believe that the tunnels are still there after they close the gate. the gate. Right. But w when you went in there, you were technically a part of the upside down. No, you're still in our universe. It's just the matter of you were the part upside of the creature. down. Like that's, you were in the creature. That's basically, basically the ups Whatever's in the upside well, down terraforming our world. Yeah, but what's the difference? The difference is you're still not in the upside down. You're still in our world. It's just infecting it. Right, oh and it's trying to turn our world into a another universe of the upside down. Basically, it's it's uh, it's trying to turn our universe into a similar world that the upside down already. Well, that is. was that was yeah. They were saying that it, it, part of the hive. It wants the mind flare. It wants to take over all of us as creatures. Right. Right, right. That is its, was its purpose. And I, in my mind, my impression of the thing was that the upside down at one point was a universe almost identical to ours. Ooh, multiverse. Yes. Well, I mean, and all that the structures are there that are similar, and yeah, there obviously was some apocalyptic right. moment that. And I think took at some out. point that mind flare broke through into that universe yeah. and did what it did, which is yeah. why it is the way it, it is had now. Had happened fairly so, recently. So yes. this, this brings us to what's going to be the ending, right? Which is they kill Cthulhu. Cthulhu? The mind flare? The mind flare. And we end up with a bunch of um, flower dogs running around. Demo dogs? Oh, no, no, there'll be flower dogs now. No, flower they're not, dogs. They're not, not, not vicious. No, no, spraying their right. flower pollen Dustin, everywhere. Dustin huh. will make them friendly, and yeah, yeah, does, yeah. does Dart come back? I think time? he, I think he's I, dead. He, he died. I, I know, but it's like uh, in the end, he actually recognized Dustin and let Dustin go by. Yeah, mm -hmm. and he's a, he was a friendly. Well, they let him go by because he had nougat. Well, yeah, but he remembered who Dustin him. was. Yeah. And he had kind of a well. Scene. He remembered that yeah. he, he remembered nice that that kid had the tasty treats that yeah. it liked, and yeah. he was nice to him. It's well, like until he locked him in the basement, in yeah, the yeah, storm, yeah, in the tornado like, shelter. He kept every day he'd come and give him a little bit of candy, and it's like you know, it's like you know, and maybe the locking him in the cellar helped. It's like maybe the dust, maybe Dart had Stockholm syndrome. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> like Started possible. enjoying his captivity, and it's like that poor cat. Yeah, that, that made me sad. And it's like, don't eat the cat. <laughs> the poor mom, Dustin's poor mom. <laughs> yeah, she, she had the cat, cat that uh, Dart ate. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, have you guys read the Stranger Things comic? No, at all. Well, um, the last one um, has a scene in it that. Um, is very evocative of the poster for season three, where you see kind of the legs of the mind flare at the bottom of the poster and kind mm -hmm. of the colors of the upside down as it slowly transitions into a full color image of Hawkins and the kids standing there looking at a fireworks display. And that, that comic image um, uh, looks, the bottom of it looks very similar, but it's like the legs of the creature actually are um, the bones of human beings and there's other bones of human beings that kind of extend off into the horizon and you kind of see the mind flare there um, and so it makes me think that 
the mind flare destroyed all of humanity in the upside down, mm. and that's where this pile of bones came from. So that that's could, that could be I very interesting. That, it's just yeah. like going through different realities consuming them and converting it to its own environment or whatever making itself bigger and stronger every yeah, time right that could be that could be interesting uh speaking of stranger things offshoots have you guys seen the stranger things lego set no no nope. yes it's really cool it's uh i think it's joyce's house and like you've got <laughs> joyce's house yeah and then there's <laughs> Audie is not amused. Or, you know. uh, well, what did you think? Maybe a demo dog was tickling your chin. <laughs> so it's two sides. It's uh, you've got Joyce's house, and then the upside down of Joyce's house, uh-huh. and you can flip the set so that either side is oh. face up, and oh, you've nice. got no. the upside down awesome. or and right side up, or you can flip it over, and you've got. Oh, marketing. It's really cool. It's the upside down or the downside up? Yeah, it's two hundred dollars, so oh. I haven't gotten that yet. But you will. Uh, fingers crossed. It wouldn't be a bad birthday present. <laughs> <laughs> if Katie is listening to our show, which I'm sure she always does. Uh, but yeah, so that's a neat little thing they've got. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, well, we're. Uh, up on our hour already, if you can believe that. Wow, we did a whole hour. On, I think we're. I think we're gonna do a good panel. Yeah, I think yeah, we, we got, got plenty, plenty to material. talk about. Yeah. yeah, we got some things to iron out before then. I think, as far as questions about. No, I think we can just do this. <coughs> we have the same being, argument there. No, no, I, I agree with that, but you know, it should be an informed argument. Right. I, I mean. Have you been to cons? <laughs> Doesn't yeah. have to be informed. You just have to talk. Uh, no, I, 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 I dare say I've done more panels than everyone at this table ah. put together times three. So yeah, I know how this goes. But it's like, and you're right. But you know, for our own personal sake, it's like maybe just a little. Well, I mean, saying. it's pretty much all speculation anyway. It is. So. It, is it's, it's, it is, but... Which, is, mean, which we, is the fun part of it, the speculation I, I, part. I don't know if we should be arguing about whether or not the upside down is the upside down is the upside down is the upside down. Well, it we would be, be interesting to see the audience's take. Yeah. Maybe. And that will engage yeah. the audience. That's tr- are, As we, we have engaged are, Audi. Are we going yes. to... <laughs> are we, are we going to have a, like, a Q&A? Um, I, I don't I, think, well, no. we'll have cues we're that the panel will be addressing yeah. and we'll invite the audience to. There's Q&A is more for a, yeah. more for like an authoritative source. Right. We True. can't answer any questions about what, like, any, we, we all, all we can do well, is do like we want uh, to speculate. Allow, do we want the audience to, to be able to put in their opinion? I mean, bear in mind, we only have like 50 minutes. Yeah. I think we can just say, uh, ask for a show of hands. How many think this? How many think that? Well, and this is also a discussion that we can have at lunch and not sure. on a podcast. <laughs> right. No right, one cares. Right. No one cares how we're going to do our no. panel, right. which is going to be great. And you it's should all come to. You should. Yeah. And, and yeah. I want, I, I'd like to see guesses on what the mother hangs on the walls. Yes. All right. Do you, do you think we will that, ask that. That'd be kind of tedious, I think, it's to, to, to go for that third repetition of... But that seems to be a theme of the show. There's a third repetition? Well, she did well, the, be the third the time where she put something on the, the wall. Christmas no, I just... Yeah. yeah. I, it's almost predictable. Yeah. I mean, I it would be hard almost. to surprise me with... I Because the <laughs> pictures surprised me. I was like, I wasn't expecting that. Right. I, I can see that. But if you do it a third time, it's going to be really hard. Yeah. For me uh, to figure out how to do it. Yeah. All right. So we didn't actually make it to any sort of end game discussion. No, we didn't. Sigh. I tried. But end game, oh. end game. Yeah, you did try, and I appreciated it. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. It was a valiant effort. But mm-hmm. end game's coming back to the- theaters, so we'll have more time to discuss end game. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Because we'll have to see it again. Yeah. I wanted to see it again anyway because it's so long. I mean, there's just so much in there. Oh, there is. And so now they're going to give us six minutes of extra footage. I'm there. All right. So anything else before we? I don't think so. I think um, we'll look forward to seeing people at um, Ocon. And um, 
Come and see us. Yeah, come check us out. Well, by the time you see this, it'll be too late to come yeah. check us out. Well, you can no, come check us true. out for next year. Yeah. We'll I'm, be there next year. I'm sure yeah. we will. So, yeah. anyway, thanks for watching another episode, and we'll see you guys all next time, if not sooner. Yep. Remember to, if you like what you see and heard, uh, subscribe to us on your podcast solution of choice. Uh, give us a like on YouTube if you're watching, and subscribe to the channel there for more of this. Uh, we'll be uh, putting up episodes from Ocon coming up very or well, actually, you would have already seen them by the time you see yeah, this. Right. So yeah, if you like this time those, travel thing if is you very like confusing. this. Like and subscribe. Leave us a comment. Uh, pop by our uh, page, galacticdriftwood.space, and uh, comment on any episodes you like there. Tell us what you want to see. Yeah. Then we're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So Yeah, reach out. out. Yeah. All right. Thank you all. See you. Bye. 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 Thanks for listening to this episode of the Galactic Driftwood Podcast. For more information and past episodes, please visit our website at galacticdriftwood.space or subscribe to us on YouTube. And now, please deactivate your cranial downlinks, collect your towels, and be sure to watch your step as you exit our gravity well.